also that leaves us with the mysterious diode. Ooh, much different animal now. Okay, let's go put it together. Draw the circuit. All right, so let's see here. So we have our EMF. Okay, so the first thing in the series is the diode, and it's a symbol like that. Interesting. And then next, it's in series with the resistor, about one kilo ohm resistor again. And that's in series with a current meter. And that goes back to ground. And then there's a voltmeter across the diode. All right, so let's look at this here. This is the diode here. Now, it's a little hard to see, but there's a line on one side of the diode that corresponds to the line in the picture. Okay, and then here is the resistor, and it's already in series right there in this knob here. All right, so let's put this together. Let's see. So out of the power supply, we need a red wire. Like the red wire here. Okay, out here. And then, there we go, going into the diode. Great. And then next, there's a resistor in series. Ah, like I said, it's already in series. Look at that. Look, they're connected in that knob there. Terrific. And then it goes out of the resistor. Black wire. In to the current meter the milliamps, and then out of the current meter, back to ground. Out of the COM, back to ground. Okay. And now we need the voltmeter across the diode. So, here. Yeah. All right, so high end there, and then low end here. A common mistake is to put the low end... Ooh, is to put the low end here. No, 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 no. That's measuring both the potential drop across the diode and resistor. We want just the potential drop across the diode. So there it is. All right, so now, so now look. This is a little different this time. This time, we're going to be watching the current and we're going to be setting a series of positive currents and then finding the corresponding positive voltages. And then we'll switch the leads and set a series of negative voltages and then study what happens to the currents. Okay, so essentially the same thing, except instead of watching this, we're watching the current meter. So turn it on, and we set to 0.1. Uh, these initial currents are going to be very, very difficult. Just do your best. So 0.1. So once you get around there, measure here, measure the voltage. Then go to 0.25. Measure here, measure here. 0.5, measure here, measure here, and then go down the line. Okay, so next we want negative 3 volts. So change the directions. All right, so let's see here. So I want negative three volts. Uh, well, I'll be. Uh, so negative three. Interesting. Hmm. Nothing there. Zero. Uh, let's go to negative six. Well, I'll be. Look at that. I can go all the way up to negative twelve. And look. Zero current. only allowing current in one direction. 
This is different than the previous elements, the, the carbon resistor of the tungsten, which would allow current to go in both directions. But the diode knows what direction the current's going in. So that gives us some indication of why this symbol is the way it is. See, it has an arrow here, and that's saying that the current can go in this direction, but on the other side it's like a shield. And then it's saying, no, the current's blocked, it can't go in that direction. So here's what the curve will look like. All right, so on the positive end, it will look something like this. And on the negative end, it's all zero. Flat line. No points of symmetry. And there you go. Have fun putting together circuits. Farewell.